they had. Can you believe Thanksgiving? Three what? Way. That's right. If you're something, or someone rather, looking for a cruelty free turkey day, stay tuned. Chef Ed Harris is here with vegan Thanksgiving dishes to delight of Liberty Chan. <laughs> Can you believe it? Thanksgiving, just about three weeks away. For some, the ideal turkey day is actually turkey free. So if you're looking for a cruelty free Thanksgiving, Chief, Chief, Chief. Chef Ed Harris is here with vegan dishes that will uh, please even the meat lovers at your table. Yes, definitely. That can be a tough thing to do, but if anybody can do it, Chef Ed might be able to do that because he, you might recognize him, right? From Chopped? Yeah. Do you see him? That's from, you're from Chopped. Tell yes. us how that was. I was pretty intense. Um, got there about six in the morning and left about 11, 12 at night uh -huh. um, for one hour of TV. So it was pretty intense. But it's not that long unless you win and you go all the way through. So, so this is the video of you. Do what, what did you cook? So this was actually a budokan. Um, I did for the entree round. I did turbo with um, some purple cauliflower, which we actually have today, and um, some satsuma makan, which is like um, uh, Asian tangerine. Ooh. Yes, it's pretty intense. Fun. All so, right. Can we get to some of these incredible dishes? Because yes. I'm, I'm sort of like, I could, I could do this. Why yes. not, right? I can go yes. without the turkey. What do you got for us? Okay, so from this side over here, we have a vegan stuffing. So I took the liberty of using some of the pre box stuffing that you can buy in the supermarket, mm -hmm. but then also took fresh bread, bake that in the oven just to dry it out, and then incorporate that so we have two different textures of the breadcrumbs. Um, and then I made some caramelized onions, which is really good for flavor, and garlic. Mix that in with some vegan bacon, right? Uh, some candied apple on top. It's beautiful. Looks Thank you. gorgeous. That looks great. And this. This. So right here, one of my favorites, uh, so this is roasted vegetables. We did sweet potato, two kinds of sweet potatoes. We did cipollini onions, some roasted beets. We did some eggplant, charred the eggplant, gave it a little bit of extra kick with some chilies. And then we also uh, tossed it with a little bit of the balsamic reduction. So he, what, what should he try here? I don't know if I have so this there. is. I think that's oh, that. that, yes. that one. So we'll okay. wait. We'll wait. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Oh, well, actually, you're gonna go for the next one. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> just, might as well just stop the meal midway through. Yeah. Get some. Yeah. Let's go vegan sweet. Hey, some countries, you know, you start with dessert first, so why yeah. not? <laughs> right. Um. So this is our sweet potato, um, and it's literally um, vegan cream cheese. Well, not cream cheese. Sorry. Um, whipped cream, and then we finished it with a little bit of Earl Grey. I love putting Earl Grey in my whipped cream because it just adds a note that you, it's unexpected and you don't get anywhere. So that's the little dark Yes, the dark little specks. Little. And yep, that's, that's Earl the, Grey tea. Yep, it makes oh, amazing good. cream. Can you taste that, the tea? You can taste everything. Oh my gosh, I just want to try it. Oh, it's really good. Thank you. Oh my goodness. And that's, that's vegan? Yes, yes. So the oh, uh, whipped cream is made with almond milk. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Nice and warm. Yeah. Okay, so tofurkey with glazed carrots and yes. rosemary. Yes. So tofurkey, of course, you know, for the meat lovers. Um, but this is really great because it already comes kind of packaged for you. So literally, you're just roasting it. This um, carrots, I did the organic baby carrots, so you get the multicolors. Um, so we have a little bit of agave that I used to glaze the carrots after I roasted them, finished it with some fresh rosemary, and then right on top I have some caramelized onions, garlic, and ginger just to kind of bring out the flavor even more. Beautiful. All right. Last but not least. Yes. Can my I start favorite. with the He's like yeah. so yeah. ready, I'm ready to, to eat. Go. Look at him. I see some cauliflower in there. Yes. What else you got? So and you're, we're going to make sprouts. this, right? Yes. So this is my favorite. Um, I did charred cauliflower, two types of cauliflower, purple and orange. Um, and you can use any cauliflower that you get. I um, also did some mushrooms. I did some purple cabbage and Brussels sprouts, my favorite. All of these, you get a really hot pan char them and then you toss them with the vegetables and then after that you top it with a little bit of the reduction which is really great it's a white aged balsamic reduction how is it and you just drizzle it over and I then like I finish it. it with some fresh coriander that we have available okay what are we doing here before we run out of time so literally you want to just kind of separate the Brussels sprouts just to get oh. a few leaves uh -huh. and this gives you an easy way to char them uh -huh. and it's really quick one two three and for okay. the purple cauliflower or the orange cauliflower we just want to break them down so you get smaller florets this way when you're charring them it doesn't take long to cook because this dish you can literally make it in five minutes this would almost be faster than yes. cooking a turkey because that takes 100 yeah. Yeah, yeah a lot yeah. of time yeah. Right. yeah definitely and like, i always think like kids like the kids could be involved now they can 100 they can be there and and help in the prep, and then they're gonna be more likely to eat Brussels sprouts. I agree, my son, 
which is three, he's three, um, he loves cleaning Brussels sprouts. He does? Um, so we... It's a great sign. It's, it's awesome. My kids, they come in the kitchen and we're prepping. So it's a great way to involve kids um, and they, like you said, they will eat it. Fantastic. For more information from Chef Ed, you can find him online at chefedharris.com and you can also follow him on social media. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to be right back. Thanks for coming in. Thank you very much for having me. So how was that? Thank you.